So, me and Brad have been working on this for about a half hour. You guys have missed out, sorry. So yeah, Brad and I had started, we had put that, um, the forward part of the inside rib on the fuel tank there um, that I didn't get filmed, but there you could see us um, actually clicking it together. So this is uh, video number nine for the tank series, and it is basically putting in ribs the entire thing. And I will show, I'll speed through a bunch of it, and I cut a bunch of stuff out um, that was very similar and repetitive, but I will show some of the mistakes and some of the things that I did differently um, just so you could kind of see them. But basically, it's the same exact thing over and over and over again. Um, so each rib goes in. Uh, well, you, you coat it in tank sealant. You slide it in, line it up with the Clecos, rivet the holes, move on to the next one. Um, you do have to clean up the tank sealant after you're done as well. So just so you know, that does take a while, by the way. It was a lot longer than I had truly expected it to be. So um, just be aware it's the cleanup does take some time. And then I do have a joke for you, just so you know. So the joke is two windmills were sitting on a hill. One asked the other, do you have a favorite song? And the other replies, well, all my life I've been a heavy metal fan. <laughs> a heavy metal fan. Oh, that's so dumb. Uh, sorry. Bad, bad, bad dad jokes. Uh, so here's another one for you since we're on bad jokes time. So, um, did you guys know I made a song about a tortilla once? Now it's more like a rap. <laughs> that don't do. Oh my goodness. Those are just bad. Okay, and so here we go. We're continuing on with the um, rib. And the the you can get the one side while it's standing up, but the other side you definitely can't. Um, unless you move it clear to the side of the table, it's much, much easier to do it laying down, especially if it's just you. If you had somebody helping you, um, you could definitely do it with it all standing up. But if it's just you, it's much, much easier to lay it down. And you can do one or two on the one side and then the, first, the three closest ones to the nose on the other side while it's laying down makes it a lot easier. So I will do a quick little, so you can see kind of up close there what it looks like. It is a mess, um, just FYI, while you're doing it, but then you just clean it up afterwards. So I'm going to clean that up, fill at the edges, and we're good. Okay, so this is cleaning up, and there was like 30 or 40 minutes of cleaning up, but I got it down to, I think, about 20 seconds. So see, skip to the end. And basically, you just take the popsicle, clean up the edges around it, clean around the things, and then put the chocolate chips on each of the rivets. And it's the same for every single one of them. Um, not a big deal, pretty easy. And that was 33 grams total. So 30 of the white stuff, 3 of the black stuff. And there's extra left over. So probably... Um, one ounce, I forget whose video I was watching, but they had said one ounce, which is 28 grams, 28 point some grams, um, is probably the right amount. Um, and it's enough to coat the, the rivet heads to put the little chocolate chip on the rivet heads. So just so you know, that's kind of where we're at with the amount of um, okay. tank sealant. So as per usual, I didn't record the last time this rib that I put in. Um, I kind of wanted to experiment a little bit and I didn't want to have to worry about changing batteries and running out of time and blah, 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 blah. So um, you didn't get to see this, but it did go in. It looks pretty good. Um, you did get to see this one a little bit. Um, so that's where we're at. I'm working on the third one here. Well, technically fourth one. 
and then I have two more inner ribs and then the outer rib. So working on those, we'll see how far we get. And just FYI, um, 28 and 2.8 gives you just enough for rib. So an ounce basically is what it is. I, somebody had said that in one of their videos, I forget. Um, and I think there was a comment, I'll have to get you who uh, told me that, but somebody had said something about it. So they are right, that is a true statement. So feel free to pause the video on that uh, comment. It was absolutely correct, so just FYI. It is 28 grams, 28.3 grams is technically an ounce. Um, one ounce will do each rib with just enough. There'll be barely enough left over. And I did notice um, when mixing stuff up, switch stir sticks. Um, the one you get the stuff out with is all gunked up. Switch, get a new one. It's easier. And I would not get like regular popsicle sticks. I would get the bigger, thicker ones. Um, I'll show you a, um, like on Amazon right here. But the, the bigger, thicker st um, popsicle sticks are much, much easier to scoop stuff out of the little can and to stir it up and to spread it. So I definitely would recommend the bigger popsicle sticks. Um, and then when you're putting it on the rib, the tank sealant on the rib, um, what you want is the, the flange part, you want to be on the other side. So like when you're, like I'm right-handed. And so when I was holding that there, the flange was actually facing away from my hand with the popsicle stick. And the reason why you want to do that is because to make the fillet on that side, you need more um, tank sealant. And if you do it the other way, you end up with not as much on that rounded over side. So I know that doesn't make any sense at all. The first time you do it, if, if there's not enough for when you're making the fillet on the other side, that's what I'm talking about is if you hold it the right way, you'll get enough in there. So it won't, um, you won't have to, you know, scoop extra to make the fillet like a nice round over fillet. <laughs> so, I mean, long story short, you could do it either way, but it just seemed to work a little bit better. If you did it that way, it gave you enough in that area. So you wouldn't have to mess with it. And then this is all the same. So you put the rib in and the new ribs for the RV-14, um, they are not, uh, the flanges are cut. Like every, there's two rivets and then there's a notch and then there's two rivets and then a notch and then two rivets and then a notch. When they do that, it makes it pretty flimsy. Um, and so when you put it in there and you push it down, um, it wants to kind of, buckle and move and bend a little bit and so you kind of have to be careful when you're putting it in there to make sure it gets seated in the very bottom of the tank like the front part gets seated really nice and you're lined up on the the dimpled holes because if you're not i'll, I'll sh show you here in a little bit you have to break out a little hammer to kind of tap it in so it actually is where the the dimple is um so that's just kind of a, you figure it out after you do the first one. It's like, oh, well, if I put this Clico in here, it's going to bend it. So you have to kind of start a little bit lower to get those Clicos in there. And then here I am again just doing the, um, the very bottom or very front side of the tank rivets, um, laying it down. And I am using my stand that is a lot thicker. Um, so it, it kept it pretty nice. So it wasn't too bad at all. And then you clean it up just like all the other ones. And then if you've done it, you know, if you've put enough on it, it makes it pretty easy. You just kind of use the popsicle stick and you're good to go. It's kind of nice. I had a bunch of these uh, electrical connectors. So instead of using a piece of pipe, I just using these. Um, they're cheap. I mean, pennies so I just throw them away it's easy to clean up so it works and it works the same exact way as the metal pipe is you just kind of put it on the rivet and pull it off and you get a nice little
chocolate chip piece there. So obviously, I just fast forward through doing a bunch of those. Um, and I'll just finish up with this video doing the chocolate chips, finishing up the chocolate chips and then cleaning up a little bit of the side um, and making sure the fillet's pretty good on the other side. And then that will pretty much be it for this video. As always, please like and subscribe. Um, let me know if there's something you think I could be doing better or something that uh, I missed um, and it's going to make my plane not fly. Please point that stuff out too. I'd appreciate it. Um, and then here's some close-ups of the rivets with the chocolate chips on them. Um, they're kind of hard to see there because it is a mess, but the tank sealant stuff is kind of messy. But there's the chocolate chips on that rib. Now I'm just going to clean it up and she's done. Well, that rib is done.